Uh, so, um, <clears throat> I've got some, so all I did was a little bit of gold to get up, main building, warehouse, granary to free, and uh, I did the barracks for the task, and then I've just got uh, resources coming over from the spawn, and I'm thinking just grow up the croplands and maybe do the occasional task in here. There's no point getting any of these to level 10 yet. And, uh, like, yeah, none of these level 10. Maybe the complete economy. Once I've got all the wheats to two, I might as well get the, um, the, the wood, iron, and clay to two as well, just to collect them tasks. But for now, I'm just going to be growing the croplands. Uh, unfortunately, there used to be a really good written guide, which I'd keep in my notes. Ah, oh, shout out to these people as well, just for supporting the channel and dropping me a message. Um, so I'd usually have a nice written guide, but this is currently the best I can use. I might try and make myself a written guide, but what you do is you put in what sort of village it is, uh, what sort of oasis you've got, and then it'll go through, if anything goes through them one by one, then it tells you when to get like the flour mill, and these here are like the levels of all your crop fields, and just keep going down, and then you say you've got flour mill level 2 here, and then at the start I believe this is flour mill bakery? maybe let's just scroll down through here oh yeah then hero's mansion is this one here so like the first type the first oasis i want to get would be all to seven apart from four of them to level six then i'll go grab the first oasis so i'm just gonna be following that sort of strategy there simming up so i'll probably make another video before i go to sleep at some point i was about to say tonight at some point this morning um but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm just going to keep growing the croplands up as much as I can and then probably upgrade the granary a little bit, just just enough to cover me so I can go get some sleep. But yeah, so I managed to get another village. It's only 100%, but then this isn't a super serious server for me. This is me trying to, trying to figure out what I'm doing. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you in the next bit. Right, so it's currently 7 a.m., um, in the spawn village I've just started to get the iron mines up to level 5 now uh, throughout most of the evening I've been sending resources over to the capital so if we go to the capital here well, I say capital I mean 15 crop it will be a capital but I've got an all to level 4 here I've got my first one going to level 5 and I'm just getting the granary up again so I can get a couple of hours of sleep now uh, if I go to the notes I turned the um, cropper guide into like a little bit of notes for me so this is with a 100% oasis so now that I'm getting one crop to level 5 I'm going to get the flour mill to level 1 now so that will be my plan for now to so get flour mill level 1 so at the moment I'm on 1700 production which I don't think is too bad so all I'm going to be doing now is I'll set up a couple of trade routes ready for when I get up so that I have more villages in my 15 cropper when I wake up. Uh, so that's about it for now. If I just go into the infrastructure of here, I don't really have much. I built a palace to level one, only because tomorrow I'm going to change it to the capital so I can send the hero over. And then if this is the capital, then all the adventures will spawn over here. So that's about it for now. I'll probably do an update tomorrow to show you how the cropper's going. As you can see over here, I've still got 32 hours of protection. I'll probably end up extending that just so I can sim a bit more and don't get attacked. So that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, so, right, I ended up completely destroying my sleeping pattern this week. But it's been quite a good thing, so it means I've been able to sim a new village quite well. Uh, so first in the first village, I um, forgot I need to, need to keep partying now. That should be priority one. I've got a couple up to level 6, got all the iron mines to level 5 uh, but yeah, saving up for that party and then probably just continue building up the resource tiles and then if I go over to the cropper here you can see we've got about half of them to level 5 and we're just finishing that up and following the guide I wrote, I've got, I uh, wrote for myself I got my grain mill up to level 1 and then I need to go through these messages, I've just been playing from my phone all morning so I'll get on that and do some replying 
Uh, go to the notes, so as you can see, flour mill level 2, once I've got two crops level 6, and then it'll be all crops to 6, and then flour mill to level 3. Um, so yeah, that's something similar. The reason I got the clay pits and that up, which I don't usually do, is for the even growth task. We got one of each to four, and then I think it's called a complete economy task as well. Yeah, where you get all of them to level four. So I've got that, and then it'll be level sevens next. Um, so I just wait until I get all of all of that, and then um, yeah, I haven't really pushed any of these tasks. Like for example, marketplace to level ten, you only get three hundred forty-two resources and twenty-two XP, so it's not worth pushing into it when you should just be pushing with the economy and at the moment all I'm really doing is letting crop build up so it'll take about four five hours or so and then NPC in it just for some more more fields um, so that's probably about it for this update I'll probably do one before bed to show you what the crop is looking like at the end of the day As you can see I've still got 25 hours of beginners protection down here but I I think I will extend it just to give me a bit more time to sim up and then maybe start building some troops or something ready for raiding uh, so that's this bit for now and I'll see you in the next one hi guys so just another quick final update um, I've got almost all to level 6 now and tonight I've just gotten the um, warehouse and granny up a bit more so I can get some sleep tonight uh, I decided to extend my beginner's protection so I've still got quite a, quite a lot of that left um, over in the spawn, I've done level 7s here. Um, I probably should have just pushed some more resources over into the 15 cropper to get more crop fields up. But um, I'm feeling a bit lazy today, so uh, <laughs> taking it easy for myself. Uh, I can see over here some people are absolutely smashing it on the population over here. Uh, here's what the raidings look like. Got some great raiding going on here as well. Uh, people are starting to come out of protection and well attacks and that are now happening but yeah that's the uh, the update for tonight um, I set an alarm ready for when I'm about to max one of the best ways to check is if you go to the overview if you've got plus account and uh, go to the warehouse it means I've got to get up in uh, four and a half hours just to NPC I uh, could probably do getting the warehouse up in in the spawn as well just so I don't max. Uh, this is the only problem with um. Oh, sorry. Yeah, get a warehouse up in here. This is my only problem with um. Free X really is. It's got to try and manage the sleep. I mean, I'm not doing much because I'm uh, self isolating. But still, uh, I'm just gonna set that to master builder to give me a hand. So uh, that's the update for tonight. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to push some more in and get all to seven and then start working on my first oasis. So that's the update for now and I'll see you in the next one.